guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to try and transform our garden back into a garden area. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this has gotten basically overgrown with grass again. So I'm going to take a rake and see if I can't remove the grass. And then we're going to try to get in our plants and recover our garden. Our plants, obviously, we bought them in Memorial Day. And right now it's the 7th of June. We really haven't done a whole heck of a lot. So there's a lot of work to get done in order to put them in the ground. But hopefully we can revive the garden and get it going. So. So I got it, most of the grass pulled up. We're just gonna put it in the wheelbarrow and get rid of the, most of the grass. Okay, you wanna help? I'm just taking all the grass out and throwing it in the wheelbarrow. As much as we can anyway. It's not gonna get perfect. We're just trying to get the bulk of it out, and then we're going to cover this in weed blocker anyway. I don't know if this is going to work, but I just want to get the garden in. All right, guys, so that's what I got so far in the garden. I removed most of the grass. Um, it's not perfect. It's not pretty. But unfortunately, guys, I don't have a lot of time to be working on this today. So we're going to go ahead and work with what we got. We're going to go ahead and let the chickens out so we can get into the chicken coop. Daddy! What? Where Park Park's not here anymore? I know. So what's the matter? The black and white ones scare me because I think they're going to attack you. Well, unless they attack you, don't worry about them. Alright guys, so I dumped all the grass onto that side, so we're going to take the shavings from this side and put it in the wheelbarrow.
All right, so now that I got this all in here, I'm just gonna spread it out, and then we're gonna get some uh, landscape fabric and we're gonna put it on top. All right, guys, so I've had this weed blocker just lying around for a while. Um, we really haven't been using it, so that's what I'm going to use to cover the top of this. So, so I'm going to start on this side of the garden. I'm going to work my way that way. I'm going to start with my tomatoes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an X fabric. Where I'm going to put my plant, peel it back. <laughs> then I'm going to dig my hole for the plant. <laughs> I don't have to go very deep for these. It was definitely time to get these out of here. As my plants are getting root bound, as you can see. We're just gonna cut it right out of there. Put it in the ground. Dug my hole a little too deep. There we go. I'll just bury it back up. I'm going to cover the fabric over it again with the marker.
Well, that finishes off all the tomatoes. So let's move on to the peppers. All right, guys, so uh, the garden is pretty much done uh, for now. Unfortunately, you know, it's not the best it is. I got the garden in, and I got all the labels into the plants, or next to the plants. So we, right there we have our lettuce. We got some zucchini, some cucumbers, some watermelon, peppers, and tomatoes. So I ran out of room in the garden, so I went ahead and just cleared some spots out in the old raised bed that's full of grass. And I planted a watermelon right planted a watermelon right there. One right there. And then I put an acorn squash right there. Now, I don't know how well those are gonna come out, um, but at this point, I'm just trying to get anything out of my garden. Um, unfortunately, we had bought all the plants. We've had a lot going on. We haven't had a chance to put them in the ground. I had a chance today. So hopefully they, the plants recover and we get something out of it. The good thing is we do have a couple of plants with some growth. You can see right here our pepper plant, that's a lunchbox pepper. It's got a pepper growing on it. And then we have some peppers on this one, which again are lunchbox peppers. Um, the tomatoes are not looking very good. As you can see, hopefully they do okay and they produce some type of tomatoes. The zucchini has a flower started, so hopefully that does well. And then we got some watermelon right here. I really don't know how they're going to do. And then we got the lettuce there. And again, we got the stuff that's thrown in over here. All right, guys, well, I thank you for coming along with us today. Have a great day and we'll uh, keep you guys updated on how well this turned out or how much of a failure it was. Either way, it's a learning process. I'm hoping that with the uh, weed barrier, we can keep down the weeds um, and we'll see how that works out. Have a good day, guys. Bye.